Dear hashed followers, in this video I will show you how you can use multiple bits and expressions in Unified V18. Let us start with the multiple bits. In the V18 we have for the tag terminalization of properties a new type. It's called multiple bits. And I use it on my circle and choose here different bit numbers. If you select a double bit number, you get a warning from TR portal um, that it does not work. And I choose here different colors for the different bit numbers. And for the bit number five, I select in flashing. And after this, I will download it to the runtime. In the runtime, I modify my byte. So it's the bit number zero through. It's blue is bit number one and zero through. It's gray, it's the default color, and it's the bit number one through I get the orange. And now I want to add the bit number five, and you see uh, the circle starts flashing. Now we go back to the TR portal, and I will show you what is possible with the expressions. Each object has this new tab expressions and you select the property you want to modify. I choose the property background color and will add the first logical expressions. I will combine two booleans and do an AND connection, which is meaning is both bools are through. I this condition is through and then the color will be changed to green. We add a second logical expression. So we do an OR connection between um, these both tags. And it is important to know that the first condition wins which is true. In our case, if the AND condition is true, the OR condition doesn't matter. And it is possible to have multiple statements in one condition. You see, you can use brackets and we want the second condition is the tag my entire then 15 or my bool one or two is through. Then the last condition is through and the color should be changed to orange. So let us take a look to the runtime. First, I add one, so condition the second condition is true, it's getting yellow. Are both true? The first condition wins with the AND connection. And if I now modify the integer to 16, we see the last condition is not true because the first wins. But um, if my bool 1 and 2 is false, he checks the value of the integer. Let us go back to Tia again and I will show you how you can use mathematical operators inside of the expressions. So we use the second circle, add the background color as condition and now we select for example our integer tag plus 12 should be equal smaller or equal to 20. Then the first condition is true and we select this bright blue as background color. So I copy the statement for the second condition and I want to multiply the integer with two and this should be higher than 40. Then the condition second condition is true and we change the color to green. So we add the third condition. We want to divide it, the integer by two. And if this is lower than 10, the last condition is true and we get a color yellow. How does it look in runtime? So we modify our integer to five. So the first condition is true because 5 dot plus 12, 17, which is lower than 20. If we get at 9, 
just meaning it's higher than the first condition, which is not true. But the last one, 9 divided by 2, is lower than 10. That's okay. The 19 is still the same. 20 is an undefined. So no, no condition is true. That's why it is gray. If I enter 21, now the second condition is true. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something about expressions. See you.